Chapter 13, Can It Happen Again? San Francisco cannot change the fact that, like much of California, it sits on the San Andreas Fault. The two plates on either side keep on moving one or two inches a year. So that means there is always the possibility of earthquakes. Fortunately, none of the earthquakes since the one in 1906 have been as severe. The worst struck in October 1989. People all over the nation saw it happen. How? They had their TVs on to watch a World Series game at San Francisco's Candlestick Park. All of a sudden, the picture went off, but the announcers stayed on the air. They told viewers that an earthquake had just struck. Within minutes, cameras showed a collapsed bridge and major fires. A TV news reporter appeared in the parking lot of the ballpark. He described the shaking. Viewers held their breath, wondering if the stadium would fall. It did not, but there was major damage all over the area. You can see a replay on YouTube. Hardest hit was the San Francisco Marina District, which had been built on artificial land and the city of Santa Cruz, where many buildings were between 50 and 100 years old. Ten bridges were damaged so badly that they had to be closed. In all, the 1989 quake caused 63 deaths and did $6 billion in property damage. The 1989 quake measured 6.9 on the Richter scale, but the damage was not as bad as it could have been. Laws have been passed that required new buildings to be strong enough to withstand earthquakes, and since 1989, bridges in the area have been strengthened as well. San Francisco intends to be ready the next time there is a major quake, but no one can really predict the timing of the next one, nor is there a way to tell how powerful it will be. All that's known is that sooner or later, it will come. Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is an imaginary line around the Pacific Ocean. About 90% of the world's earthquakes occur along this ring. Why is that? The ring is where several of the Earth's tectonic plates meet. The ring starts at the southern tip of, the south, of South America. It runs northward all the way to Alaska. Then it crosses to Russia and goes south following the coast of East Asia. It runs through the nations of Japan, the Philippines, and Indonesia. The world's largest recorded earthquake was along the Ring of Fire in Chile in 1960. The western coast of the United States lies within the Ring of Fire. The most powerful earthquake in the United States took place in 1964 in Alaska and measured 9.2 on the Richter scale.